everyone welcome back playing some more yakuza 4 today of course i hope you guys are excited for today's episode last episode we set up a lot of things to move the story forward we found yasuka we were able to have a conversation with her she never got to meet with tanimura's father he never showed up to the meeting that they were supposed to have but yasuko suspects that he knew of a more powerful force that was pulling the strings in all of this that we still need to uncover so we found out why she's been offing people and trying to get 100 million. So Katsuragi told her that he would save her brother if she either did some hits for him or got 100 million. So she kind of ended up doing both, but she is done with all this. Her brother is about to be executed as far as she knows. So she's trying to get down to Okinawa so she can see him or at least be close to him before his execution well we know that he's not actually in the prison anymore so thank god for that she has decided to leave the rest of it in tanimura's capable hands and we have to go retrieve the hundred million that she left in a car parked under parked in the underground parking lot and that's what we're not quite gonna do today because there is a sub story that my chat was really pushing me to complete so today we're going to see that with a girl called nair so i hope you guys enjoy thank you for watching i wonder what the fastest way into kamurocho central parking is speaking tagalog wouldn't happen to speak english as well would you Speaking Tagalog. Guess not. It's no use. She doesn't understand a word I say. Hey there, officer. Oh, Tanimura-san. You couldn't have come at a better time. Is something wrong? No, but it sounds like this woman is looking for someone, but she can't speak Japanese, so I'm not really sure what to do. I was trying to get her to follow me back to the station so we could have an interpreter help us, but she doesn't seem keen on leaving the spot. I see. I'll take things from here. Thanks, and sorry about this. Can I leave her to you then? No worries. If you had taken her to the station, I would have been the interpreter anyways, so it saves time if I just do it here instead. <laughs> you got a point there. Thanks again. Well then. In Tagalog, I'm a police officer. You can talk to me about whatever it is you're having, having trouble with. Great! I finally found someone I can actually converse with. My name is Tanimura. I'm with the Tokyo Metro Police Department. Who are you? I'm Nair. <laughs> Who wears short shorts? This is my first trip to Japan, and I still haven't got gotten uh got my bearings quite yet. Nair, nice to meet you. I'm guessing you're from Southeast Asia. Anyways, you're looking for someone, right? That's right. Well, actually, I'm a detective too. You? A detective? Mm. That's right. I followed a criminal to Japan to bring him to justice. Can you just do that? Do the Japanese police know what you're up to here? Well, yeah, they do now. <laughs> you do now. I contacted the Japanese police before I left. They're supposed to be helping. But once I got here, everyone seemed so busy. No one would help me with my investigation. Oh, I see. Everything's a bit of a mess right now, I, so I bet not everyone knows you're even here. I was also told I would be given an interpreter. And I'm guessing you didn't get that either? I apologize for the inconvenience. It's not your fault. I'm just happy to finally talk to someone I can understand. Glad to be of assistance. But I have a little dilemma. We have permission to investigate, but we don't have the authority to make arrests. In Japan, only the Japanese police are allowed to make arrests. You've got a point there, but it's not our investigation. We can't make an arrest without sufficient evidence. There is evidence. That's why my colleagues and I came to Japan, hoping for some help from you guys. Colleagues? They're out at the embassy now. Tanimura-san, would you come with me for a bit? Wait, wait, wait. There was a shiny. There was a shiny! What is this place? We don't have cell phones that work in Japan right now, so this is our rendezvous point. I see now. That's why you couldn't follow that officer to the police station. 
The criminal we're seeking won't be in Japan for long, so we have to investigate quickly, along with the embassy and Japanese police. Tanimura-san, would you please help us? We have to catch our criminal. Me? Yes, I beg of you. We'll take care of the investigation, but we need you to come along to make the arrest. I'm not sure. This sounds like more trouble than it's worth, but I guess the station will make me do it later, even if I refuse right now. If that's the case, then it'd be easier for me if I did this my own way. All right, I'll help. Really? Thank you. Thank you, Tanimura-san. By the way, I have no problem arresting the criminal, but you guys don't have guns, right? Isn't that dangerous? I don't usually carry a gun. A police officer's job is to capture criminals, not kill them. If that's true, you've done a good job at staying alive. Don't you have dangerous cases? You guys hear sirens? I may not look it, but I pack a pretty strong punch. Stronger than any of the gangs here. Really? I wouldn't have guessed. I can't win a head-on slugfest with men, though. I use their own strength against them. So you're good at parrying, I guess. I prefer countering to simple brawls, too, so I can understand your logic. Oh, yeah? We should try sparring together, then. Sparring? Yeah. That way we can share techniques and help each other get better. Sparring is important no matter what martial art you practice. I don't know if my style could be called a martial art. But all right. While we spar, you can update me on the progress of the investigation. Sounds great. You can come here anytime and I'll fill you in. Okay. When I have time, then. Oh, yeah. I was meaning to ask you something else. Have you heard of Revelations? Oh, yes, 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 I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I was just going to ask. I was just going to ask if, if Tanimura has Revelations. Revelations? Yeah, I heard there are times you can have epic revelations just by witnessing, witnessing certain special events throughout the city. People like us that train regularly can use that inspiration to discover new techniques. Revelations, huh? I think I understand, but I'm not sure I know how it works. When you witness the perfect shot, make sure to record it somehow. At least that's what someone told me. I've been keeping memos of the various things I've seen since I'm coming to Japan, and I already have some technique-worthy material. That's interesting. I'll try using the notepad I always carry the next time I see something. Mm. Worth a try. I'll keep an eye out for things going on around town, too. Anyways, sorry to ask so much of you. I may be here for I may not be here for long, but I appreciate your help. Okay. Okay. Oh. Mac. What she signed me up for his newsletter? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, everybody, let's get that perfect shot. Looking for that perfect shot? Then I have the new got the newsletter for you. This week brings three beauties. First up, we have a girl asking for donations in the hotel district. Folks, there are too poor to give much of anything. Good luck, kid. And for number two, a flirty couple tries their hand at a UFO catcher at the club Sega in Theater Square. Here's his chance to show off a little and win her heart. Finally, number three. Yeah. Danger near West Park. The area is under construction, so why all the bicycles? I smell trouble waiting to happen. Okay. Hi. So, I guess we could do a little bit of sparring. Run through the basics of parrying. Let's do it. Let's give it a shot. Oh, shit. Can you parry a kick?
Oh man, it's a parry off. Shit. She's pretty good. Oh man, she's kicking my butt. I don't remember what other moves I have on this guy. We got that thing. Try pairing this! <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at her fly! <laughs> oh man. Oh shit. Fuck this. Mm. <sighs> She's really good at shoving me into the wall. Little by little. Let me, uh, do I have any healing items? Oh, I can't use them. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. Um, that's bad. Oh, my God. She... Did she just parry my drop kick? Oh shit, she's using my own move against me. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Now I'm kind of scared. She's gonna win. No, no, no. Drop kick. <laughs> it's so close. Oh, well, you guys can't see her HP, but there we go. She's got. She's dead. Yeah. I mean, she's not dead. We're not trying to kill her. Well, you're not bad, Tony Wooda son. That really taught me a lot. I think I got the hang of parrying now. Active parry time increased. Mm. Nice. Hey, Nair. Oh, Marcos. How was the investigation? I got some good intel. Hmm. Who's this? This is Tani Muda-san. He's a Japanese detective and is helping with the investigation. Really? That's great. My name is Marcos. I'm also an investigator. I came to Japan with Nair. I'm Tani Muda. Nice to meet you, Marcos. So how about that good intel? Right. Gigi was spotted nearby at a club frequented by foreigners. Gigi? The name of our suspect. He uses fake names so no one can track him down. It's short for good game, like what you'd say after playing a round of StarCraft. Okay. I got it. It's a cynical way to poke fun at the people he beats, I guess, as if it were a game. I see now. Doesn't sound like he takes the police very seriously. You got that right. But it seems that the very same GG was just drinking at a club. Where did you hear that? From this guy who happened to be there. He works as an interpreter. Apparently, he was drunk and yelling, I'm GG at the top of his lungs. Wait a second. That doesn't necessarily mean he's the same GG you guys are looking for. You're right, but it's at least a lead to follow. I'm going over to the club now to find out everything I can. Thanks, Marcos. Let me know if something turns up. Will do. Just wait. Won't be long now. I forgot, I wanted to ask you something. What? What crime did this GG commit? He murdered an entire family and stole their money, and in the most atrocious of ways. Two parents and their son. The crime scene was so horrific, the victim's bodies were unrecognizable. He did all that just for money? I don't know. That family did nothing to deserve such a cruel fate. Why do you say that? Perhaps he had some really bad grudge or something. No! No! no. <laughs> Not in a million years! Nair. I just won't believe it. Don't tell me. <sighs> I'm afraid so. It was my parents and brother that he killed. Wait, you said the entire family! You lied! I was safe at a friend's house that day. Sorry, I didn't mean to get so gloomy all of a sudden. No, don't apologize. I'm sorry for making you talk about it. I'm fine. 
I became a detective for the sole purpose of personally solving this case. Okay, I... Uh, I'm feeling invested now. Like, I was like, okay, investigation. Maybe we'll skip this, do other stuff, and get on with the main story. But I'm feeling very invested now. Don't look so upset. We have to stay sharp. <laughs> what? <laughs> do not skip it. Okay, this is one that's worth doing. Okay. Right. Come back to spar again, okay? I'll show you how a real fighter does it next time. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Okay, she is very tough. I kind of want to try taking her on again, but I feel like we might... We might get absolutely fucked up. Uh, I need to fully heal. Uh, we'll just buy more. We'll just buy more heals later. Okay, let's try again. Hi! Sparring. Ooh. Let's work on movements that will wear your opponent down. Act as if you're fighting an armed opponent. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do. But let's do it. Just parry her into a wall? I think I'm just gonna drop kick her for for days. Oh my god. Oh, she's There we go. Okay, so we gotta get up to a wall then though. Fuck you! Well, I can't even get my guard up. Fuck you. What? <laughs> she came out of nowhere. <laughs> I think it's working. I can't drop kick her anymore. It sucks. She got good. What? No, 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 no. Fuck! Wish I could, like, hit her. Do I have any heat actions on this guy? That I could, like... Maybe if I got my heat up, I could use a... What you call it? Oh, I have points I could use. I have the one on the downed enemy. I do. Maybe I should use another stamina. Increases the difficulty of execute. Wait, let's see. What do I? Uh, what? What? Can, what should I get, guys? Combo speed boost would be good. Stand up faster after being knocked down. Yes. Enhanced parry. Oh shit. I don't have enough points. hit her before she hits the ground. You guys lied to me. Shit. Here we go. I got a couple hits that time. essence of seizing. Whew. Okay, that I couldn't like pull that off before. I don't know. 
You talking about me? Good things only, I trust. Marcos, did you visit that club? I became friends with that interpreter witness. He showed me around. Was a big help. According to staff working at the club that day, Gigi wouldn't say anything about himself until he started drinking. That club is frequented by more foreigners than Japanese, so it wasn't a language issue. Usually people talk up a storm when they're at a place they can talk in their native tongue. Exactly! People that can't speak Japanese are tempted to go to places like that to meet people that they can talk with. But that's not the case with GG. He went to the club by himself and drank without talking to anyone at all. What if... It was a rendezvous. Yes, that's the only possibility. Gigi was there to meet with someone else. I wonder if that was the reason he came to Japan, or is there something else? If that was the case, why would he get stupid drunk and yell like that? Maybe he drank too much while he was waiting, but it is a pretty dumb thing to do. In either case, there's a strong possibility that the Gigi at the club is the very same Gigi that we've been looking for. I'm close with that interpreter now, too, so I'll try and dig up more info if I can. Right. Thanks, Marcos. By the way, where's Garcia? Wasn't he supposed to be at the embassy? Apparently, he ran into some trouble getting the embassy to contact the Japanese authorities. All I was told is that it's going to take a bit more time. Garcia? Another friend of yours? Yeah. He knows a lot about intentional international relations, so I'm having him take care of our communications through the embassy. Good thinking. If that GG is our killer, then that's probably the best way. Either way, we have to keep investigating while Garcia does his part. I'm going to do some more work. When Garcia gets back, tell him to stay here and wait for me. Got it. Marcos is quite the hard worker. He feels the same way I do. He was a friend of my brother. Oh, really? My brother was a genuinely kind and intelligent guy. Marcos and I both really loved him. That's why we can't believe what happened. Marcos worked at a, as a cop at the time, and he helped me out when I decided to become one too, in order to find the killer. He's a friend, a truly irreplaceable friend. I see. Well, waiting here can may be my job, but this is just boring. Come back whenever you have time, okay? <sighs> Okay. Okay. Oh, this lady is just almost killing me. Here. Oof. It's not a full heal. We're gonna need the full heal. Okay. We have one more fight with her before we have to go back and get and buy some uh Hi. some more heals. So let's try sparring again. I hear that. We have to do this fight four more times. Patience. Yes. Good. Good damage. Good damage. <laughs> oh, this is bad. <laughs> okay. I think we got this. All right, that's it. By the way, heard about any incidents around town lately? Settle down. Okay, sorry. Was that a bit much? Like, I just got very upset with her the first two times we sparred, so it feels good to actually win. Incidents? I thought there might be stuff going on around Kamurocho related to us. Oh, I see. I'll hear about anything that does happen on my radio, so I'll be sure to check out anything relevant. Thanks. Keep me posted. Will do. Go investigate incidents possibly related to Nair that I heard on the radio. Oh. Do we have to leave now? I think we have to leave. Disturbance on Nakamichi. Is this the disturbance? Okay, hopefully that had nothing to do with Nair's little situation. Oh my gosh, this guy's got some moves. Did you see that? Well, we gotta we wanna get rid of this guy with the gun real quick. Are you trying to shoot your partner or what? 
Got him. Got him. Got him. Yeah, you should be afraid. You really should be afraid, mister. Oops. <laughs> Thought we were done. Okay. Oh, this is GG. Oh, shit. I skipped it all. If GG ever gets you in his sights, he'll kill you. He kills you. Even you won't stand a chance. Hold on. Did you just say GG? See, just like I wasn't listening until I saw GG, Tanimura also wasn't listening to a word these low lives were saying until he heard GG too. So I'm just playing the role, okay? Just playing the part. I'm getting into character. That's right. It's the name of the mafia boss. You know GG? The name of the guy Nair was after was named GG too. If a mafia protege assassin is here in Kamurocho, then it must mean that GG is here with his crew. Detective Tanimura, welcome back. We can take it from here. Oh, sure. I'll leave it to you guys then. Information relating to GG, huh? Guess I'll go back to Nair and report it to her. Ooh. Submit report. I have some info of my own. It's about GG. Really? What is it? Some foreigners I arrested for possession of firearms said they were afraid of some assassin trained by GG and had to protect themselves. An assassin trained by GG? I might know the person they're talking about. Usually these types go out of their way to hide, but I hear GG is so strong, he's using this guy like some kind of advertisement. So he's looking to scare the surrounding organizations into submission. Clever. The same killer is apparently still walking the streets of Kamurocho. Kamurocho? I wonder if he was brought over here as a bodyguard. In any case, this means GG is not alone. So he brought backup. I don't know how many we'll have to face, but we need to stay on our toes from now on. Thanks for the info. I'll let Marcos and the others know. Okay, I'll be keeping my eyes peeled too. Okay, can we... Can we train? Let's do some sparring. Want to spar for a bit? Let's work on pushing your opponent after parrying their attack. Parry, then counterattack. I think that's what we've been doing. Shit. She's tough. No! I can do that too, bitch! Oh, shit! What the fuck? Oh god. It's not looking good. It's actually looking pretty bleak right now. We just need a few good hits, though. Yes, okay, there we go. There we go. Yes, yes. Okay, one more. One more. Oh no. No. Snap out of it! Tanimura! No. 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 No! No! Damn it! Not fair! It's just really hard to combo this lady because she just constantly parries you. Like, it's. This battle is like. It's kind of different from fighting normal enemies. She doesn't really have a lot of openings. And you can't heal, so you have to be extra careful. I just have to be patient. Oh dang. Oh dang. I, I, this is a bad corner to be in. Can't really see. There we go, there we go. That's what we need. That's what we need. Come on. Oh! 
Don't let this girl out of your sight, man. She will fuck you up. She will come for you in a, in a very scary way. I need to get, like, to the wall again. But she's, I can't. She's so aggressive. Here we go. Oh, come on. No! Fucking, that's cheating! I'm really calling bullshit on this. It's bullshit. Come on, I just need... Yes, okay. Whew, it's always so close. Oh, it's always so close with her. Essence of arm dragging. Nair, I got some big news. What is it? Oh, Tanimura-san's here too. Perfect timing. What's the news? Someone cited the same GG that was seen at the club. We know now... We now know of a building he apparently enters every night. Good work. If that GG is our killer, then that building could very well be his hideout. Where is the building? It's over on Pink Street. Let's go check it out then. Wait. You need a warrant to just enter a building like that. And to get a warrant, you gotta have some degree of evidence. Sometimes I get fed up with the amount of paperwork here. I had no idea where you were such a straight-edged cop, Tanimura-san. That's not it. If I'm the one storming into a building, I couldn't care less about a piece of paper. But your position is a bit more complicated. If you guys enter illegally and get caught, your investigation is pretty much over. You've got a point. I guess we'd best stick to Japanese rules to avoid a lot of problems. We'll have to go about this carefully. First, go by that building and find out for sure if it is in fact the right GG. If you get the evidence, I'll take care of the paperwork. Then we can make our move. Got it! I'll look into it then. Nair, did you hear from Garcia? Not a word. I just hope he's okay. I've got a bad feeling about this. I'll see if I can find out anything. This is a Japanese cell phone. Take it. It's prepaid, so you shouldn't run into any problems. Thank you. This should come in handy. I haven't seen prepaid phones in a long time. Good job finding one. You can still find them in some places. Pretty lucky that such services are still around. I'll give you one for Garcia, too. Make sure he gets it when he comes back. Got it. Thanks. All right. I'll be back later. I think we have to fight her one more time. That guy works really works hard. My brother always used to say Marcos would become a police officer one day because of his strong sense of justice. And now Marcos is the one chasing the killer who murdered him. It's kind of ironic. You guys were all pretty close, weren't you? My brother didn't really get along with my parents, so he always confided in me. Marcos was also one of his only friends. He wasn't really a, po a people person. I see. So Marcos working on this case is his way of honoring your brother. All we can do now is chase down the killer and make him pay. Yeah, nobody can change the past. Exactly. There's no point in moaning about it. Once we put an end to this thing, let's go out for some celebratory drinks. Sounds good to me. She's always like... <laughs> okay, lady, you, you really... You really done me in here. Okay, full heal. Hi. Sparring. It's all about the cheese, lady. You like cheddar or gorgonzola? Huh? Maybe some Parmesan? Don't get too cocky now, Tanimura. Not when it counts the most. Say hello to my Havarti! Oh, shit. Provolo, bitch! Run. Oh, that was close. Oh my god! She's the cheese master! She's going Wensleydale on my ass. 
Yes, okay. Woo! <gasps> I lost! I don't think I have what it takes to beat you, Tanimura-san. It's only because I've got a good teacher. I'm truly grateful. I learned release throw. I just don't get it. Why hasn't Garcia contacted me? How caught up he could he be at the embassy? I just hope everything's okay. Do you want me to try checking for you? Can you even do that? I think so. Let's see here. Hello? This is Tanimura from Community Safety. I need you to look up a phone number. Huh? Already left? Yes. Uh, right. I see. Sorry for the trouble. What did they say? Garcia was at the embassy to file some papers, but left immediately after he was done. What? But... It's likely he got involved in something. Garcia! Is there any way you can contact him? I haven't had the chance to give him the cell phone I got from Marcos yet. This may not be the best time to sit back and wait patiently. I'll go and look for more clues. <gasps> oh. I'll go and look for more clues. Something might come in on the radio receiver. I'll let you know as soon as I hear something. Got it. Thanks. He's, I'm gonna have to chase him, huh? We're gonna, we're gonna run. Time to run. Oh no, we're, we're fighting. But I was ready to chase him. Well, you probably would have stood a better chance if you tried to run, because you just got like demolished. Oh, GG. Okay, so he is hiding from GG. Guy called GG. Once he sets his sights on you, you'll never escape until he kills you. GG? Nani? He's the guy Nera's looking for. What did this GG guy tell you? I don't know anything. I was just asked to do a job. What were you asked to do? To get a massive amount of firearms and a chopper. A chopper? You mean like a helicopter? That's right, but I don't know what he plans to use it for. That's all I know. All right, I got it. Just calm down. The police will take you into protective custody and... What? Ugh. Hey. Hey. Hey, somebody call an ambulance. Tanimura-san, we heard a gunshot. Why is it... Why is he staying out in the... Open? Yes, this man's been shot. The shooter has to be somewhere nearby. What? HQ! HQ! Can you hear me? Looks like they were able to shut him up. Firearms and helicopter. I need to report this to Nair. Okay, we have info we can report to Nair. Tanimura-san, what can I help you with? I got some information on GG. What is it this time? A weapons buyer I arrested in Kamurocho was apparently doing work for GG. Seems GG ordered an, a large amount of guns and a helicopter to boot. A helicopter? What are they going to use that for? No clue. But the buyer was gunned down in cold blood right in front of me. They wanted to make sure he didn't talk. That's terrible. This also means the weapons have already made it into the hands of the enemy. The helicopter too, I bet. You can't hide a helicopter without at least one person noticing. I'll do some sniffing around too. Good. That'll be a big help. Ah oh, shit, we have to fight her again, don't we? Oh. Oh, Tanimura-san. Did you hear from Marcos? Uh -huh. Not yet. Hmm. Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing sticking your nose in the boss's business? Oh. GG's goons came straight for us. 
You head back and tell the others we found the rats and that we'll take care of them. Got it, boss. Who are you? Didn't you hear what I said? You're already taken care of, got it? I don't have to explain shit to someone who's about to die. Get him, boys! Looks like we're going to have to fight. You take half of them, and I'll take the other. Got it. Your luck ran out when you made the boss your enemy. Now you two can die together. How romantic. But I don't think I'm going to be able to let that happen. I think I should just watch her take them all out because she's going to fucking kick their ass. Look at, look at her go. Oh, shit. Alright, I guess they're all foreigners. Barry, Raymond. Bye, Barry. Reggie. Come on. Come at me, Reggie. Come at me. Come at me. Oh, she was trying to drop kick. Hold on. Let's get the double drop kick, kick going, girl. Uh. Let me parry him. Well, looks like that's that. Ever seen these guys before? Some for common misdemeanors. I'm pretty sure they work under GG. If GG knows about us, then... Marcos! It's from Marcos. Put it on the speaker so I can hear too. Got it. Hello? Hello? There! Get out of there! Marcos, are you okay? Don't worry about me. Just get out of there. Garcia's with me. Chasing Gigi at the club was just a trap to catch us. Even the interpreter was... Marcos, are you okay? Marcos! Marcos! Now listen up, you idiots. Is this Gigi? That's one of my aliases. What are you planning on doing with Marcos? We know you've got Garcia, too. That's entirely up to you. If you intend to keep snooping around, then you'll all be taking a trip to the bottom of the sea. But if you keep to yourselves, I'll let them go when the time is right. <sighs> let them go? We're not that stupid. Someone as evil as you would never be so gracious. Then do as you like. Their fate is up to you. So don't forget. Click. Let's go bust that place open. We'll be saying GG to Mr. GG. I don't get it. What the hell is GG up to? I don't know what his goal is, but there's something else I don't get. The first person to call was Marcos. If Marcos was captured, how could he be free to use the phone? The only explanation is that Gigi had Marcos make the call. To inform us that he was okay? I guess. He kept Marcos alive and even went out of his way to let us know. I'm pretty sure he wants to make a deal. And if that's the case, then he probably wasn't lying about his end of the bargain. You mean he'll let everyone go if we keep to ourselves? Exactly. And if he doesn't intend to keep them hostage or to kill you, it means he's got some kind of reason. What the hell is Gigi up to? I have a feeling if you do as he says and stay out of his business, you'll be allowed to return safe home safely. 
but you'll also miss your only chance to bring him down. Talk about tough decisions. This is out of my hands now. Ultimately, this is a decision that you will have to make. I want to get the criminal who killed my family. And I'm sure Marcos feels the same. I know if I go home just because the killer told me to, I'll regret it for the rest of my life. It's going to be dangerous. You sure you can handle it? I have to try. You're coming too, right? I'm not going to just up and leave. Not now. Then it's settled. We'll go save Marcos and then... We'll arrest that murderer! Ding. <laughs> right. Be sure to be in that building Marcos was talking about. Just let me know when you're ready. I'll be waiting here. Got it. Oh, I'm ready. I am ready. Tanimura-san, are you ready to go? Ready. I'm ready. We're ready! This is it, I guess. Yep. I knew you'd show up. You have no idea what you're getting yourselves into. If you're here, then this must be the right place. You sure about that? Either way, you're not going to live to find out. Okay, gang members. What are those? Some, some gang signs you're throwing out? Jamie. <laughs> Can't get over these, like... American ass names. Aren't they supposed to be like. Are they supposed to be from the Philippines as well? Okay, hold on, hold on. Why am I getting my ass beat right now? Let's see if we can get a parry or something. No, no, no. There we go. That's what we want. Well, that's going to put that guy out of commission for sure. Drop kick. There we go. There we go. Shit. Don't you move. Sorry, but we don't have time to talk. You're going to let us in. I feel like this might get a little bit tough. Is that GG? He's big. He's a big guy. So you came. You must be GG. Oh, he's not. Well, I was given the GG voice. No, the boss is already gone. What? He warned you, didn't he? He told you not to interfere any further. I'm going to take care of you now. You can die together, regretting your stupid mistakes as one. Oh. How romantic. Oh, he looks like he can fight. Okay, so can I. Yes! Yes, exactly what we learned from Nair! Ah, oh, fuck. Hold on, let's see what we can use around here. How about this table? <laughs> I was going for the couch, but that works too. Oh my god, I'm so glad I have her as backup. Okay, girl, help help me out. Help me out here. I'm I'm like really good doing a really good job at attacking the air right now. <laughs> Kicking chairs! <laughs> oh god. Alright, you just finish him off. I'm I'm I don't even know what I'm doing right now. There we go. There we go. 
What the? That was a professional assassin. Gigi definitely isn't fooling around. So where is Gigi? Hmm? What is it? There's a note here on the phone. Tower. Helipad. A time's written here, too. I bet the tower refers to the Millennium Tower. The tallest building in Kamurocho, right? Let's get going, then. Wait. We still have a few hours until the time written on the note. Want to go on a date? If we get there first, they might see us and run away. And then we're back to square one. We should wait here first to make our move right before things go down. Okay. So about that date. It's about time. Are you ready? As ever. Let's go. She loves her thumbs up. She loves them. That elevator should take us to the roof. Right. Let's go. This is where it ends, folks. Ah, who are these guys? Looks like they were expecting us. I guess things are going to get ugly. You got that right. When I'm done, not even your mother will recognize you. <laughs> I kind of dig this song that they've been playing. I think I need to heal. That's a lot of guys. Oh, gee, that's a lot of guys. Hold on. Hold up. I think this will do me here. Here we go. Okay. Yes. Get the drop kick. Get the drop kick. Yes. I want to do that grab thing again. But I need heat. And I just used my heat. I kind of don't understand why I keep using that heat move unintentionally. But like when I want to use my heat on other things, it's kind of a little bit annoying. But we can get heat back soon. Wait, no, 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 my heat! Um, I want to do the ball and chain thing. That thing's so fun. Oh, shit! No, 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 no. Oh, the yeah, this one. Boom. Oh, man, these guys are there. Neat. You know what? Is there a weapon around here I can use? No. Okay. It's all right. Florendo? I've never heard that name before. Florendo. Sounds like a Pokemon. I don't mean to offend any viewers that might be named Florendo or have any close friends or relatives that are named Florendo. But I've just never heard that name before. Yes, that's the first time I've seen that one. Oh, all the Florendos are going to unfollow me now. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I, you, I'm you, i sure you'd make a great Pokemon. I'm sure. You all would make great Pokemons. Get up. Get up so I can beat you. There we go. Hey, Colin. Oh. Are you all right? I'm fine. We have to hurry. Right. I think I need to heal again. There's our friends. Marcos, Garcia. Wait, isn't that... GG. I must give you credit for making it this far. However, your coming here was a mistake. 
And I take it you realize that now, no? It can't be! Wait, is it her brother? Are you sure that's GG? Yeah. Nair, what's gotten into you? Can't blame you for being surprised. This is why I told you coming would be a mistake. What's going on? He's... I fucking knew it! My brother. So... She thought that her parents and her brother were both murdered by Gigi. Apparently not. Didn't go exactly like that. You're what? But why? It's just as it appears. I killed our parents, faked my death, and took off with our family's massive fortune. It can't be. I'm afraid it can, but the facts reported on the murder are all lies. What do you mean? Our family operated a plant dealing mainly with automobile manufacturing. But that business alone could never amass such wealth. It was merely a front. Behind the scenes, they dealt in the munitions industry, selling arms. This was the true source of their enormous wealth. Wealth that I took. Publicizing my death freed me from all political and eco economic responsibility. Living behind the scenes has many advantages. It can't be. Nobody can just fake their death that easily. Perhaps not in Japan, but the sleuthing techniques aren't so advanced where I'm from. It was hardly a challenge to find a loophole. And I'm rich. Nothing is impossible for me now. The sky's ridiculous. My parents and I, I never saw eye to eye when it came to their money. Oh, God, I thought that was Nair talking. I'm so sorry. My parents and I never saw eye to eye when it came to their money. I had to get rid of them. But Nair and Marcos were always there for me when I was alone. I am grateful to both of them. That's why you told them to stay out of your way, right? You didn't want to kill them. That's right. Even wicked people like you aren't able to forget the people they love. But do you think your friend and sister are happy with you now? That's why I told them not to interfere. If they figured out who I really was, I would have to res dispose of them regardless. Dispose? You gave yourself away the moment you said that word. If these people were truly important to you, you'd never talk of disposing them. Not ever. I'm sure even Nair has realized the truth about you now. You're not my brother. My brother is nothing like you. My brother is dead! My brother died that day along with my parents! You're just the criminal that murdered my family now, and you're not getting away with it. That's too bad. I would have thought you of all people would at least try to understand. You can't force your ideas onto other people and expect them to agree with you. That's enough. You will die now. I'm going to make you pay. Count on it. I grow tired of this banter. Prepare yourself. Oh, GG. Who's going to be saying GG? Does he have a shotgun? Oh my god. 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 Wait, 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 wait. He has a shot. He's got a shotty. He's got a shoddy. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Yes, 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 disarm him. Well, I mean, we can't disarm him, but you know. Work your magic, girl. And I'll work mine. Can I parry like... Oh, we could parry that move. But not when he shoots, I'm guessing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please. <laughs> Please stop. 
I am so glad I have her to help me out here because this would be awful to 1v1 this guy. You know? Drop kick this motherfucker. Oh my god, he keeps dodging. He's got the dodge and shoot! The dodge and shoot! Um. Uh. What the fuck do I do here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's all right. I have healing items. It'll be okay. What? <laughs> I'm really getting tired of your shit. GG. There we go. There we go. Feel like we're, we're making some progress here. Okay, okay. Maybe not anymore. It's fine. Just getting shot in the leg over and over again. Okay, hold on. Time out. We can knock him down. No, I don't want to do this heat action every time. Okay. Bale, you really got to make these pulls like before the fight's like over. This can't be. Give up. It's over for you. All I ever wanted was for you, just you, to be happy, Nair. If that's the way you truly feel, then pay for your sins with... Excuse me. Then pay for your sins with the rest of your life. That's my final wish. As your only family. Why did you kill your parents for money? You're the eldest son. You would have inherited the money either way, right? Those brainless idiots were wasting their own inheritance. How could I expect to inherit anything of my own? Waiting would have been futile. I tried reasoning with them. I even majored in management at college, but they would never even acknowledge what I was saying. They were so incompetent. They didn't even have the faculties to take notice of my talent. What's more, they didn't trust me and were even looking for a new successor. They had no intention whatsoever to leave the family fortune to me and Nair. It is true that our parents weren't interested in anything but money. But you made the wrong decision. Nobody has the right to kill another. Nair, you've grown up to be a wonderful person. I can rest easy knowing that. Tanimura-san. I know, Nair. I know. This is Tanimura from the Community Safety Division. I need men on the roof of the Millennium Tower right away. Tanimura-san, thanks for everything. You really helped me a lot. I guess you were pretty shocked to find out the murderer was really your brother. Well, of course, but honestly, I'm a little happy to see that he's still alive. Really? Well, we got the bad guy, but I bet I'm going to be pretty busy for a while after this. Why is that? For starters, Gigi is going to be interrogated here in Japan, right? I also have to start out the extradition paperwork. Oh, I see. So the worst of all this is yet to come. Tanimura-san! You're not going to help? 
I think I'll pass on that part. I wish you all the best, Nair. Hey! You can't leave me now! Just kidding. You are more help than I could have ever imagined. We'll take care of the rest. <laughs> there has to there has to be some way I can repay you. No worries. I was just doing my job. Plus, you taught me lots of new techniques. The whole experience was pretty inspirational, too. That's enough reward for me. I learned the Komaki Firearm Flip. Ooh. You're too nice. When I get back home, I'll send you a bunch of fresh fruit. Well, I am partial to fruit. I'll be looking forward to it then. There! Come here and help me fill out these forms. Hi. Be right there. Well, this is it, Tiny Muda-san. Thanks again. Right back at ya. See you around. Oh. <laughs> Thought for sure she was gonna do the, uh... The thumbs up. <laughs>